And so I heard Shoro growing up uh, quite a bit, and I had one of his albums, and I just listened to it over and over and over again. Um, but the music is very difficult to play on the harp, so I didn't really play Shoro music growing up. But then in college, one day, a clarinetist that I was playing in a duo with put the music for Dolce de Coco on my stand and said, let's read this today. And, and uh, that was it. From then on, I could not stop playing Shoro music. I thought, wait a second, I can, I can actually do this. And I started to kind of try to figure out how to play Shoros on the harp. Um, but no one was really there to teach me because no one really plays or very few people play shoros on the harp. So I was just kind of making it up, trying to learn as much as I could. Um, and then I landed in Los Angeles and I was at USC working with Aron Serfati and he uh, taught me some things and he said, you really need to study with Ted Falcon. Ted Falcon is the person that you need to study with. And I said, well, where's Ted Falcon? And he said, well, Ted Falcon's in Brazil, so you have to wait. Uh, but then <laughs> um, <laughs> our friend and colleague, Clarice Cast, gave me a call one day and she said, Liza, Ted is back in Los Angeles. You need to call Ted. So I called Ted and here we are. So, um, Working with Ted was really when I think I started to really develop um, techniques to really realize the rhythms and the melodies on the harp. And my, I think my short playing really just went whoop, skyrocketed working with Ted. Uh, because as you know, Ted plays so many different instruments. And I think working with someone who could show me how to play these rhythms and melodies on the piano and the guitar and the mandolin, then I could really start to translate onto the harp. So that's a little bit of my shorter journey. It's been about 10 years now. Well, it, it certainly is interesting. Of course, Mike Marshall, the instigator of so much of Shoto music, along with David Grisman, the two of them really brought Shoto music to the to North America. And uh, I'll, I'm ever indebted to both of them for what they did. And then, of course, we have Ted, who I, I took my first workshop with you down in Brazil camp somewhere around 2008 or nine or something like that under those beautiful redwood trees. How are you doing, Ted? I'm just so glad that she finally finished it. We, we, with the pandemic, things got put on hold, and we were like, when are we going to finish this thing? It's been done for two, about a year and a half or so. So to have it released, she was waiting for the right time. And uh, so I, I'm excited for Eliza to to do this, uh, put it public. I think it's just gorgeous. I, I'm a, when she contacted me, I was, people say, well, how can you teach harp? You don't play the harp. And people, I've taught many instruments, cello, and I've taught people uh, on various instruments. And it comes down to uh, more about the music than the instrument. You know, it's about articulation. Like she was saying, how does a seven string guitar sound? And I try to get that kind of articulation on a guitar on the harp. So she'd have to muffle the, the notes or mute the things. And uh, it was there was a lot of just uh, carryover from one instrument to the other. So it was more about the big picture than the than the than being a harpist. I don't play the harp, but I, I didn't need to. I didn't need to because we're talking about uh, real stylistic elements of this of the of the music that, that I was already studying. Uh, I wrote guitar books and uh, when I lived in Brazil and worked at the Clube de Choro, mm -hmm. I was working with Henrique, Henrique Neto to make uh, the, the 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 Choro books for the Clube de Choro, and I I wrote did a lot of transcriptions and I studied almost like a doctorate when I was living in Brazil so intensely. So when I came back to the U.S., I, I was gr grateful to have a student who could actually teach some of this very detailed kind of uh, material, you know, that was specific to Shoro, you know. Yeah. Well, Liza, what song we've got? I've got the uh, CD cuts here. What song would you like me to open with to sort of demonstrate the CD for folks? Sure, we can go ahead and open with just the title track, Otro Lalo, the first track. Okay, let's do that. Here is the first track of Otro Lado. <laughs> 